story of Roy O'Brien. He lives in an ordinary house on an ordinary street. The only trouble is, he doesn't look very ordinary. All Roy really wants is to fit him, but it's very hard to stay out of trouble when you're a cartoon. Roy! Over the past few days in the O'Brien household, Moira has noticed a change in Roy's behaviour. Roy, you coming downstairs to watch a bit of telly? There's popcorn. That's all right, Ma. I've already had a sandwich. <coughs> Roy, <coughs> Roy, this is your father speaking. What kind of sandwich? It's easy studying up there, but he's not fooling anyone. But hey, it's all part of growing up. And to be honest, I'm fine with that. I don't mean to sound heartless or anything, but I do have a life of my own that doesn't revolve around my children. Mara, the film is starting. Not right now, Bill. I'm going through photos. Well, you're the one who wants to... <sighs> oh. Look at that. He was the cutest baby. <sighs> but a real handful. We had to tie a lid on the cot with ropes just to keep him safe in there. That's him and his fifth birthday. That's a more recent one. I'm so glad he seems to be settling in and making lovely friends. Cartoon characters on TV never grow up. For a while, we thought Roy was going to be the same. But you can't believe everything you see on TV. really the worst subject for me. Some get it, some don't. I definitely don't. I mean, the human body. It's not as if it exactly applies to me either. See that? And the candles are still lit. Don't even remember eating that. Anyway, all this science stuff just doesn't seem to go in. I can't concentrate on it. Now, can anybody tell me which muscle pumps the blood around our bodies? The heart. Very good, Roy. <laughs> they grow up so fast. There's Rebecca. It's hard to believe it's the same girl. <laughs> I'll never forget the day this was taken. <laughs> I wish it was as easy to get a laugh out of her nowadays. Mum, what are you doing? Nothing. What's that? It's just a photo. Oh, that's just great. Let's see what I mean. Not so fast, everyone. After lunch, we will be looking at more amphibians, namely the frog. And, as you can see, I've brought in two of them to help us with our studies. Miss, Miss Sheringham, are we going to be asking them questions? <laughs> no, Cathy, we are not going to be asking them questions. We are going to... We are going to... Dissect them. You mean like cut them up and have a look inside? Oh, miss, that's just cruel. Uh, more like that's just gross. 
Yeah, miss, that's just really cruel. Enjoy your lunch. Miss Sheringham, can we talk to you for a second, please? Yes, of course, Sinead. Roy? Most of the children don't see why the frogs have to die. And to be quite honest, neither do I. I'm sorry you feel that way, but may I remind you, Miss Sheringham, that this is a science class we're talking about, not a petting zoo. But dissection isn't even on the syllabus anymore. Exactly. And the test scores for science around the country at the moment are at an all-time low. I, I have the figures right here. Can I see that? Hmm? Uh, no. Science isn't pretty, Miss Sheringham. You're studying the life cycle of a frog, and I'm afraid death is a very important part of that cycle. But it's just murder. Roy, tell him. Yeah, it's wrong to kill them. They've done nothing to us. Kids, I need a moment alone with Mr. Hammond. Serious. I'm not doing it. I've thought about it and I won't do it. Okay then. I'll do it. But you owe me. So, Hamel's gonna. The frogs, yeah? Well, that's what I heard. So unfair. They're just poor little defenseless animals. Well, it's gonna happen anyway. I mean, I'm just gonna stop them. Settle down, children, settle down. Today may be Friday. But the weekend doesn't start until I say so. Right. Miss Sheringham has very kindly asked me to perform today's dissection. And here... Here is what we have to look forward to. Gloves! Glasses. Scalpel. The chloroform will knock the frogs out, so they won't feel any pain at all. <laughs> and now, we introduce the frogs. Despite what some children may think, this is not my favorite part of the job. <laughs> but if the children want to see me as the bad guy, that's fine. I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to educate. And if the price of that education is a couple of frogs, so be it. <laughs> It's not as if I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> right, what's going on here? Where are the frogs? <laughs> Somebody's made a very bad mistake. Miss Sheringham, close the door and don't let anyone out. I cut up helpless little frogs when I spent two hours drawing up their insides on the board for my class to copy. They can learn from that. Frogs. Disgusting. What is Mr. Hammond going to expect me to do next? 
He'll be asking me to dissect rabbits, guinea pigs. He'll be asking the class to bring in their own pets next. Of course, I had my suspicions about the disappearing frogs, but I wasn't going to tell anyone. Go. Roy, you're the last one. Yes, sir. Is there anything you'd like to tell me before I look in your bag? Um, watch out for the banana sandwich. <sighs> Who was that? Uh, the other half of my banana sandwich. Seriously, sir. It was mean. Should Ryan not be home by now, no? Yeah, he should be. What you been up to? Hey, Jack, can you get the biscuits out of the cupboard there? And Tommy, can you get the drinks out of the fridge? Thanks, Mr. and Mrs. O'Brien. Fire away. You're welcome. Uh, Roy, don't go binging on snacks now. I'm making dinner. I've met your favourite. It's all right, Ma. I've already eaten. Where's my red ones? Throw out your yellow ones. Don't like the yellow oh, ones. They it's... make me feel itchy. Oh. Bit of cake, lads. No! That's totally sick. And kind of cool as well. Roy, I never knew you were such an animal lover. Oh, yeah, me? Are you joking? I love animals. They're great. <laughs> Still, though, it would have been kind of cool to see that gut. Oh. What? You should have released them into the wild straight away, Roy. It's the best thing for them. Besides, you don't want to get too attached. Attached? Yeah. <laughs> to frogs? Yeah. <laughs> attached to frogs? <laughs> I can't release them into the world. They're just not ready. Frank will probably be okay. But Winston... Well, you can see for yourselves. Frank is obviously the party frog. That's him on the left. He's all action. Well, Winston, he's more your quiet type. <sighs> That lad's deep. He's a deep frog. If you know what I mean. It being the weekend, the boys have decided to do some shopping. Just saying. I think it's a bad idea to keep the frogs. I know what you think, Tom, but I know they're not ready to leave yet. Check this out. We got a container for the frogs, and the man gave us loads of extra stuff. For free! And we got a thing of crickets to feed them. Are these dead or alive? Don't know. So, when are you gonna let the frogs go? I need to fatten the frogs before I can let them go into the world. What? Fatten the frogs? Look out! Come on! Come here! How are you, Mr. Uh, Evans? Evans? A close one. You've got to get rid of these frogs. Raising kids is hard enough in this day and age. You try and keep an eye on what they're doing, and you're accused of being too nosy. But you can't leave them up to their own devices. They could get up to Anton. I mean, take my Roy. Heaven knows what's going on in that head of his. But I know the answer to that question is in his bedroom. Why else would he be spending so much time in there? No, Fia. I mean, what's wrong with keeping an eye on what the kids get up to? 
If I were up to Bill, they'd be allowed to do whatever they pleased. <laughs> I'm always painted as the bad guy, and Bill gets to be the good guy. I'm always the one who gets to do the dirty work. Why don't those boys ever lift the lid? Maura. What? What are you doing when you come down the stairs? What? Can the mother be concerned about her son? Concerned? Yeah, well, I'm concerned about you. You're spying on him. Heaven knows what's going through that poor little head of his. At least Rebecca keeps a diary. Uh, uh, hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Do you think she heard that? Probably. Are you two getting fatter? I think his are getting fatter. But you don't do very much froggy stuff, do you? You probably didn't learn that in school, uh -huh. did you? I'll just put this camera down here. Stuff like hopping or catching flies with your tugs. It's time for me to teach you how to be frogs. Here I go. So, in the wild, this is how frogs communicate with each other. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not all right. Hopping. Essential in the wild for a quick escape. Could save your life. Lads, I won't always be here to feed you, so you're going to have to feed yourselves. We're going to learn how to use those tongues, lads. Right? So let's say you want that big juicy fly on the wall. Ah, how are you, Tommy? Hi, Mrs O'Brien. How are you, Jack? How are you, Maura? Oh, do come in. Rise upstairs. It says here that frogs can live up to 15 years. And the container needs to be cleaned constantly. The moisture can lead to all kinds of fungal and bacterial infections. You even need to feed the crickets. So? So we're just saying, you shouldn't get too I'm much... not attached. I told you, they're not ready to go. Ah, but it stinks in here. It's only a matter of time before Mara finds out. She will freak. Girls aren't like us. They hate disgusting things. So, there's a bit of a smell. No problem. I'll sort it. And you have to call me Mam Maura. It's a bit freaky. What's her name? What do you want me to call her? I don't know. Rose Ma? Something. Wasn't there a lamp here? Mum, if you don't talk to him, I will. Mum, where's the spray that Dad had? You know the one that makes his car smell real new? Roy, would this have anything to do with a peculiar scent coming from your room? Peculiar scent? It smells like something dead got sick. Yeah, well, your mouth is a lot closer to your nose than my room is. So maybe it's your breath, buck tooth Becky. That's enough, both of you. I was going to get the house a spring clean. I'll start in Roy's room. No! Uh, you're not going into my room. It's private. Just stay out. Ma? Are you okay? Yeah. I'll get that. Well, come in. Oh! Find <gasps> the frogs! Who is it? Nation oh, Come on in. I can't believe you saved the frogs, Roy. You're such a legend. How did you know? Tommy texted me earlier. Sinead wanted to see the frogs one last time. 
before you did the right thing and set them free. You are going to set them free, aren't you, Roy? Of course he is, and the sooner the better. Well, that's the thing, you see. I was thinking I should stay here a little longer. You know, safer. You can't keep them here, Roy. But being stuck in a plastic container in your bedroom doesn't kill them. The smell will. They have to be outside. But it's dangerous out there. Roy, you have to set them free. But what if they puke? Or hit their heads? Or choke on a lamp? Choke, choke on a lamp? Never mind. You got attached, didn't you, Roy? I'm not giving them up, OK? They need me. You don't understand. They're much more than pets to me. They're like my best... What's that stuff? Oh. Ew. They've spawned. You see, the female lays over 2,000 black eggs and... Frank's a girl! Who's Frank? Roy needs me anymore. Don't be silly, love. Of course he needs you. He's turned into a man. Well. As if one isn't enough here already. What's that supposed to mean? Would you put some trousers on you, for goodness sake? It's my house, too, you know. How are you, Beck? Hey, you, honey. Turn to Vicky? No? And a hug? Daddy hug. Here. Beautiful. <laughs> My husband legs O'Brien. <laughs> Give us a break. Come on, Roy. We can do this the easy way. But the hard way. But they need me! Are they around good, Roy? Frogs aren't meant to live in boys' bedrooms. Roy, put it down! No! The frogs! I'm so, so sorry. Wolf, it's okay. They're okay. I just didn't want you taking them. See what could have happened if you did? Ma! Roy! I'm sorry, but I won't be told where I can or can't go in my own house. Are those frogs? Yeah. Happy, happy... Um, Mother's Day. But it's not Mother's Day. Yeah, but... Uh, he was going to keep them until Mother's Day. Oh. It was meant to be a surprise. Oh. Frogs. On Mother's Day. Yeah. 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 Is that why you've been hiding out in your own room? Yeah. yeah. I mean, frogs for Mother's Day. I mean, who'd fall for that? Yeah. Here you go, Ma. They'd run out of roses and chocolates at the flower shop. But I talk. Frogs are too instead. <laughs> Well, I'm telling you, you're so cheek. Oh, right. I remember I was a right little tear away when I was a young flea, you know, but I'd never have the nerve to try and get away with an excuse like that. Do you know what I mean? You were a tear away? No, no, I, no, I wasn't. No, I, no what, 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 I, what I mean is that I, I might try and get away with the odd trick or two, you know, but my dad, no, oh, my dad would put me straight. Huh? Fair play to him. That was what that evil smell was coming from his room. Hmm? And he Cheek to say that it was my breath. That right, Dad? Of course, love, yeah. Of course. But, I mean, somebody had to deliver the bad news to Roy about the frogs. So myself and Maura decided that, uh, that she'd do it. Yeah, right. You and Mum decided, did you? We, we, we did, actually, yes. Unless your lip, by the way, young one. You might want to pop up and brush your teeth again, love. I mean, frogs or not, it's the thought that counts. Isn't that right, Roy? Ma! And that's something I will always cherish. But I'm just glad that Francesca and Winston found a good home. And it's Roy right here where we can see them any time we want. But, Roy. Hey! 
We could keep them in the sitting room. What do you think, Ma? Uh, uh, right. Listen, we need to talk. About Fran and Winston. Uh, about the frogs. Oh, really? They're frogs. They're disgusting. I'm afraid they're going to have to go. Francesca, there's nothing more I can teach you now, and I have to let you go. I don't want to, but it's for your own good. Maybe someday, years from now, you'll understand when you have children of your own. Go free and live your own lives. Are you sure they'll be all right? It's the best place for us, all right. They're safe now. <laughs> Goodbye, Francesca. Goodbye, Winston. <laughs> It's been ten weeks now since Winston and Francesca's release, and there's been some surprising news in the O'Brien household. Remember that disgusting stuff in the container? Yeah, well, that was spawn, which is like frogs' eggs and stuff. I couldn't keep them in my room anymore, so I had to put them out in the back garden. And it turns out Winston and Francesca had hundreds of babies. Seriously, we all found them hopping in the garden. I asked her if I could keep some, but she just gave me one of those looks again. But that's cool. They're everywhere out there anyway, and they look just like Francesca and Winston. I shouldn't really have done this, but I brought one in to show you guys. Hmm, that's mad. He was here a second ago. Uh-oh. 